how do we continue to grow multidimensionally if we've completely ignored those factors that allowed, allowed us initially in our smallest forms of life to grow and evolve? Well, so a certain amount of this comes down to, for me in any way, trusting the process because the techno solutionist thinking is what got us into this in the first place. And being someone who was trained in paleontology, I tend to look at everything that's going on now as through the lens of how living systems have navigated generalizable, you know, like analogies of this kind of thing in the past. And one of the things that shapes a lot of my thought and my work in this is the Bob May's 1972 paper, Can a Large Complex System or Will a Large Complex System Be Stable? Where he says that we think of diversity as increasing the robustness to threat. You know, like at, at first pass in systems, you it know, like normalize the, a new thing. The more tools we yeah. have, the better equipped we are to deal with it. But you look at somebody like Brian Arthur and his work on the nature of technology, his point is that technology is recombinant 